work on refining the fur a little bit now. And I need to find my fur brush. I really love to use this fur brush. And um, if you go on my blog, which is rachelstudio.blogspot.com, there's um, a list of supplies, and I think I have a link for this. It's not an expensive brush, but it just has extended little bristles, and I like to use it for fur. So I'm just going to moisten. areas I want to work. And I'm just going to feel this with my hand to see how wet it all got. Um, I don't want it too wet because then the fur strokes will just merge and blend out and won't really hold up. So I'm just going to go in, get some burnt sienna, and as you can see, I'm scrubbing this pretty hard so that I can get a lot of paint in my brush, and I'm using the dry paint well. And then I'm going to go over here and scrub in my black, test it out a little bit. I really want my brush nice and thick, full. I want my brush full of nice, thick paint so that these brush strokes will hold up on the somewhat moist paper. And you see that's exactly what I'm getting. They're soft, but yet they are holding the shape of the brush just enough to hold that fur shape but not so much that they don't look soft and they kind of look too harsh and right here it's getting a little dry so now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a wet brush just with water and just kind of re-moisten these areas and that'll make some of it blend and some of it will hold its shape, which is what I want. And then as I paint, I kind of rotate my brush a little bit to get different shapes because if you get all the same shape, it just looks like a bunch of literally paintbrush dabs. And you want the eye to read this as black fur, not, oh, there's a bunch of paintbrush dabs. So if you work your brush while you're painting, I'm just going in and getting some pure black now, um, as this area has a lot of black fur. Um, so you rotate your brush a little bit as you paint. You can use the side, you can use it flat, you can use it a bit on a diagonal with the fur just to kind of change it up and um, then it won't look so paintbrushy. Sometimes you might want it to, but this is a pretty realistic style painting that I'm doing. I just want it to read fur, not paintbrush. <laughs> so I'm dabbing it in, rotating my brush a little bit. Now I'm going to add a little bit of water for this area. And uh, that'll read fur real nicely. Go back and get some burnt sienna and black combination. This area of his coat is a little bit lighter. And I'm just gonna go in and just hint at that. Now, 
that's a little too harsh for me. So again, I'm going in with completely pure water, going back over this, softening it up. Now I'm using the very edge of my brush to just denote some of this very subtle fur through here. This is kind of the final detail work when you're going in and putting in these last little bits of fur. So I'm going to go back in and soften that. 